buenos. Let's rock. With hard balls in the morning. WHFB 91.7. FF! Sounds like somebody's got a case of the Mondays. <laughs> All right! But I, I was told that I could listen to the radio at a reasonable volume. Does anyone ever say to you, sounds like someone has a case of the Mondays? No, man. I believe you get your ass kicked saying something like that, man. Well, I know what I'm getting. Some hard balls. Are you trying to give me a bloody heart attack? Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Hey, what's going on? You've got hard balls in the morning. I am Squandles. I am Humpy. And I am the last man standing. And we have hard balls in the morning. That is what it is. So how was your guys' weekend? Uh, it was good. Celebrated some Valentine's Day. Good. Awesome. Awesome. That's how it has to be. Oh yeah? Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds awesome. So yeah, I ended up in uh bowling green. What? It was crazy, man. It was n- just absolute craziness. Why why were you in bowling green? My buddy broke up with his girlfriend on Valentine's Day and I <laughs> he ended up dragging me three hours away from home to get out there. Wow. So yeah, that's what we gotta look forward to every day. Nice. Yes. So what do we got going on today? We have, actually we have an impressionist coming in today for an interview, and we have the uh, one of the coaches from the Cleveland Indians coming in. Alright, I'm a big Indians fan. So, uh, the coach is a mystery at this point. And, yeah, so, oh yeah, and uh, we have a little bit of the uh, Rock Hall induction ceremony to talk about too, so it's all good. Yes, it's going to be a good show, man. I, I see everyone having a good time, and it's going to be very informative for everyone. Hey, hey, Humpy. How you doing over there in your little box? Dude, I'm pretty tired. The weekend was, uh, it was crazy. Sunday, oh, yeah? Sunday was a lazy day, but I came in today and it wasn't feeling too good. Well, you're just lazy, with. dude. <laughs> That's how it works. All right, so, um, yeah, this Rock Hall thing, it's... uh. Definitely crazy. So we got uh, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. The induction ceremony is finally for the first time in 14 years of the Rock Hall's existence here in Cleveland. It's actually going to be in Cleveland. Um, and it's been dude, in New York, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. And, dude, you're never going to guess who's getting in this year. Who? Metallica. What? Yes. What? Yes. Wow. For Cleveland's first ceremony, man. It's straight awesome. I know a dude, uh, he had cancer as a kid and chose to meet the Browns instead of Metallica with his Make-A-Wish. Yes, it was the late to OCB anyway, Rosario Wells. Ah, Rosario. Ah, yes, it was Rosario. Yeah, he chose the Browns over Metallica. You think he'll be there? Uh, maybe. He might. He might. Um, yeah, way to lose your opportunity, bro. <laughs> so uh, the legends who released their first terribly produced studio album, Kill Em All, in 83, are finally getting their legacy brought into the public eye of everyone hump did you know there are some poor souls out there that have never even heard a metallica song yeah i, I think that's pretty insane they They've are poor souls for what, 26 years wow. now yeah something like that yeah yeah actually yeah. about 26 about years because 83 first year you came out yeah so it's their first year that they've been able to get into the rock hall this year uh they paved the way for bands such as slayer megadeth and anthrax with their crazy fast riffs and solos uh, they cemented their status as leaders of their genre with a self-titled album, also known as the Black Album, by fans around the world. It is uh, their first. Their first music video came off of it. It was their smash hit one that made them global. So, yeah, it's a good song. it is a very good song. But um, there, there's so many events going on between uh, the 26th and the 4th when the Rock Hall finally has their ceremony. It uh, begins with their kickoff party. It's uh, downtown Solvo prevents there's a riot going on. It's a tribute to Bobby Womack at the uh, Beachland Ballroom. And it heads all the way through the week until Saturday the 4th when they finally have the induction ceremony. Nice, nice. Yeah, so I, heard that's, I heard that's supposed to be free to get into the Rock Hall. It is, yeah. It's, uh, 
<laughs> going to be packed. It's going to be absolutely packed. So it's crazy, man. There, there's going to be so many people there just to see Metallica. And then there's so many other events going on all throughout Cleveland. So it's just going to be packed the entire week. Wow. Yeah, definitely. Cleveland so needs it, though. If you work downtown, call off work for that week because you're not getting there. There's going to be too many drunk people. Uh, I used to. <laughs> <laughs> not anymore. Yeah. So um, I plan on going. What about you guys? You guys trying to get I, down there? Totally. Yeah, I'm going to go. Yeah, big Metallica fan, but those crowds, though. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I kind of skipped that on Roverfest only because of the crowds. <laughs> Wow. So yeah, we got dudes walking outside here. Who knows what's going on? <laughs> Staring at us through the window. Staring at us through the Hello. glass. Hello. Hello there. Hey, buddy. <laughs> yeah. So anyway. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, maybe we just do that then. All right. So after we get yelled at here, so um. <laughs> you turn your speakers up. Uh, uh, put those mics up. I can't hear <laughs> you. <laughs> Where do you think uh, where do you think they're gonna hold all the concerts at the Rock Hall? Because I mean they could do it right out front there. Yeah, they could. Well, Tower City Amphitheater is not too bad. Or uh, sorry, Time Warner Cable Amphitheater. Yeah, yeah that's right, Jared, too. There, um, wasn't that the uh, Voynich Park? Yeah, they was, could do it. Is, there. Was right next door. To that. They've had some concerts there before. I remember some some of these some kind of free concerts and stuff happened there before. So who knows? See, that's what I get for uh, commuting to here, <laughs> is I don't really know. Exactly well, where they would do you things. About from Stowe? Uh, would Stowe. It's in the middle of nowhere. It's crazy out there. <laughs> doing nothing all the time. Wow. But yeah, that's what it is. The Rock Hall, their induction ceremony. It's free. It's on April 4th, so I would get down there if you're a big fan of Metallica like I am. Definitely. Something awesome to look forward to. And I mean, if you really, really want to, take the kids because it's history. It really is. So, um,. Yeah, so we're supposed to be doing traffic and weather <laughs> right about now. So let's get our traffic update from Humpy. Humpy. Humpy's traffic and weather with our calls. What's up, everybody? I'm Humpy, and uh, today's traffic and weather would be weather. Today will be mostly cloudy with a high of 26. Tonight will be a partly cloudy with a low of 20. Tomorrow's high, 37, with rain and snow later in the morning. Or in the evening. Sorry, I threw up a lot. <laughs> Traffic in Cleveland. Superior Avenue is closed between East 71st and East 74th due to a water main break. I-480 eastbound, slow, 150th to Cleveland Hopkins Airport. That was today's weather and traffic for Hard Balls in the Morning, brought to you by Hookers in a Can. Hookers. I'm Humpy. <laughs> <laughs> That's Humpy with traffic and weather. Thank you so much, buddy. No problem. All right, well... You know what? We're going to have to take a quick break here on Hardballs in the Morning. So, uh, yeah, please hang on. So cool, so fun. If you're not here, you're the only one. Puddle rides inside. Jump upside down. Spin it around. So cool, so fun. What a great place to meet someone. It's here today. Not going to stay. Backed by popular demand is Freak Out, the giant rotating swing that spins riders 70 feet in the air and is sure to make you freak out. Also, don't miss Skater, the world's largest skateboard spinning out of control. And for all the little ones out there, Kid Zone is back with more rides than ever, including the all-popular antique cars. Don't miss Lumax High Performance Trick Dog Thrill Show featuring high-flying canines in a 15,000-gallon pool. Discount tickets available at all Mark Superstores and AAA. It's here today, not going to stay. Are you looking for a career in the radio or TV industry? The Ohio and Illinois Center for Broadcasting is a perfect place to jumpstart your broadcasting career. This nine-month hands-on course taught by broadcast professionals includes 270 externship hours at area radio and TV stations. Job placement assistance is given at the end of graduation. For more information, call 216-447-9117 or visit beyondair.com. The Ohio and Illinois Centers for Broadcasting, where broadcasting careers begin. 